During the first 0 to 12 hours of fasting, the body continues processing the last meal. Nutrients from the digested food are still being absorbed into the bloodstream. Blood sugar and insulin levels begin to decline gradually. The liver's glycogen stores are tapped as the primary energy source. This glycogen breakdown helps maintain stable blood glucose levels during early fasting. Glycogen stores deplete within 12 to 24 hours, initiating fat breakdown for energy. This depletion marks the onset of mild ketosis. Ketone bodies increase to fuel the brain during ketosis. Growth hormone levels rise during this metabolic shift. Insulin levels significantly decrease, enhancing insulin sensitivity. The body adapts to utilize fat as a primary energy source. After 24 to 36 hours, the body transitions into a deep fasting state. This state is marked by accelerated autophagy, a cellular recycling process. Damaged proteins and organelles are broken down and reused during autophagy, potentially promoting longevity. Ketosis intensifies, shifting the brain's primary energy source to ketones, and fat burning increases. Inflammation markers decrease, and human growth hormone peaks to help preserve lean muscle mass. Extended fasting can lead to several side effects, including low blood sugar levels. Electrolyte imbalance is another potential risk associated with prolonged fasting periods. Individuals may experience headaches, dizziness, and fatigue during extended fasts. Irritability and dehydration are also common side effects of prolonged fasting. To minimize risks, maintain adequate hydration, and gradually increase fasting duration. Avoid extended fasting if pregnant, underweight, or with certain medical conditions.